This is the 19th of September, 2013, uh, 19, 2019. We're at uh, Vincent Corporation. This is a little CP4 lab press motor. Uh, the motor plugged into a VFD. I set it down to 40 hertz. Uh, note that this one runs off an extension for it. Um, single phase power coming in. Anyway, there's the inlet hopper and uh, screen wedge wire, some residue material we're pre pre suppressing. Here's the discharge cone. I see it's a little tight. I'll make sure that's loose. Get some air pressure on here to close the door. Um, this material is large grain size. This is like we used to see at uh, X Cafe when they had their plant in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, anyway, we're in the shipping area. There's a press just like this one. Ready to go except it has a long inlet hopper. A little shredder. Somebody left a screen here. A couple more screens for presses. See a load of lights that came in for making screws. The crew department is down there, and um, there's explosion proof press, uh, no portholes in it, they get knocked out on shipment, and a couple more presses being ready uh, for shipment. No big ones here. Here's what it looks like in the inlet hopper. I'm just feeding some stuff in. Feeds very well. A little bit of water coming out. I've got no pressure on this cone, it's open, so I'm going to uh, uh, stop the press. And I'm set at 2 bar, 30 psi. Anyway, that's it. Okay, we're going to run a timed test. I'll start the machine. CP4 lab press, and Bill will feed stuff into it. Just enough to cover the screw? Yep, just enough to cover the screw so it doesn't bridge and we don't notice it. Um, yeah, I've got 30 psi on there and that cone's open pretty far. It doesn't look right to me. Yeah, we're going to start the test now. Our test is in progress. We've gone 15 seconds is all. Here's the cake coming out. You see what it looks like. We have ground up that coffee. Liquid coming out is pretty clear. I don't see a whole lot. There's fines in it all right, but not a huge amount. People let the liquid go into a tank and let the tank overflow. And what's left in the bottom of the tank or bucket will be the fines. They settle out in a hurry. Look to the press. You can see the feeding there. Good action. This stuff doesn't bridge. Yeah. We got a minute into our test. And I'm not going to get. Just in case there's some bridging going on. And um, RPM, I slowed it down to 40 hertz, which is probably about 15 RPM. I'll double check that. And with this, we can scale this uh, thing up. Let me know when I should stop the test, Bill. All right. You're getting close. Huh? Okay, we got two minutes out of it, and we'll weigh it on a. Uh, we got a good scale there, and um, we'll weigh this. We got our tear weight. Uh, uh, yep, tear weight four pounds, three point nine pounds on this. Uh, that one was 2.2. Anyway, uh, we got it. This is the assembly area. Uh, test was very good. We ran two minutes and got almost 10 pounds. And um, the um, press liquor weighed almost four pounds, press cake almost six pounds. So we were getting uh, uh, 300 pounds an hour um, to go through the screw press. 300 pounds an hour are right at the uh, brochure value for the uh, CP4 press that we were using.